host, Jamie Jarosik, and your Storm Team 2 forecast. If you're planning a walk today, be prepared for very windy conditions through the day. At least temperatures are going to warm up nicely and rather quickly as we head through late morning. Uh, so by 10 o'clock, we're 55. Lunchtime temperature 66. And then getting into the afternoon, we get into the 70s, 78 at 4 o'clock. But again, very windy. And there's a small chance, especially north and west of Dayton, there could be a passing shower. Wind advisory will go into effect at noon and continue overnight into tomorrow morning. Winds will pick up and be sustained at 15 to 20 or to 30, gusting as high as 40 to 50. Secure loose objects around your home. Be aware there could be power outages across the region. Make sure your uh, phones, mobile devices, tablets, everything's charged just in case you lose power today. So wind speed outside of the stronger gusts are going to be up, uh, really staying up between even 20 and 25 miles per hour through the course of the afternoon. And then those gusts are going to be quite strong, up as high as 45, maybe even slightly higher than that. Uh, but again, just make sure that you're securing anything that's around your home. You don't want blowing down the street. Our satellite radar loop, we've had some clouds working through, but we are dry now. Warm front to the south and west, and it does look like some spotty showers develop here. Some of those, again, could clip our northwest counties by the time we go through lunchtime. But the cold front moves in tonight. That'll bring in the greater chance for showers and even the potential for stronger wind gusts up around 60 miles per hour outside of how windy it's going to be today. So our severe impact overnight will be strong wind, a lower threat of anything else occurring. Here's a check of future track showing lots of clouds around as we head through lunchtime. Here comes a few spotty showers to the north and west of Dayton. They'll be out of here by 5 o'clock. It just looks cloudy for the drive home from work. And then after 10 or 11 o'clock tonight comes the better chance of rain with the cold front moving through. And that's when we could have some stronger wind gusts. As we go into tomorrow morning, any severe threat will be over. But we're starting off with lots of clouds, a small shower chance. And we expect a lot of dry time going through noon tomorrow, but later in the afternoon, again, we could have some more spotty showers develop, and it's still going to be a windy day on Thursday. Today is mostly cloudy, very windy with gusts to 45 and warmer all the way up to 78 degrees. This is our one warm day to enjoy. Tonight, a cold front moves in. It brings in an area wide showers and the chance for thunder. It stays windy as temperatures drop to 55, and that'll be our high tomorrow and then falling in the afternoon with some spotty showers developing and still windy Thursday. Friday, we can't even rule out some snow mixing in early in the morning. Temperatures will be in the low 30s with a high of 48. Mostly dry weather for the daylight hours of the weekend, but we can't rule out some showers Saturday night. Both days will have seasonable temperatures in the mid 50s, and then we'll be back in the 60s early next week.